Hey, what's up? It's Mr. J with Sigh and the Fly, and today I have a couple of challenges for you. If you're up to it, video yourself doing these challenges and post them on social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Make sure you're using the hashtag Sigh and the Fly. Are you ready? Let's do this. Now these challenges are all about gravity and finding your center of mass. The term gravity is used to describe a force of gravitation on an object or near the surface of a celestial body, such as Earth, the Moon, or some other planet. Now this force pulls on all mass. All mass exerts a gravitational force, from the smallest subatomic particle to the largest star in the universe. The greater the mass, the greater the gravitational force. Now, for the center of mass is a point in an object where the mass or the weight seems to be concentrated. This point can be a physical object or it can be a point outside of the object as well. In a round object, the equally distributed mass is the center of the sphere, is the center of the mass. To find the center of the mass of an irregular object, well, it's going to take a little bit more work. And in this case, a lot more fun. First challenge is the thumb press. Here's how you do it. First, place a chair against the wall so that it cannot slide back. Sit in the chair with your feet flat on the floor in front of the chair. Your feet must not be slanted or angled to the side. Have a partner gently place their thumb on your forehead. Now, try to stand up without forcing the hand back. it's so hard to stand up is because your center of mass is still over the seat of the chair and not over your feet. The next challenge is the chair lift and here's how you do this one. Place a chair along the wall. Now stand so that your feet are not under the chair. Bend over at the waist and place your head on the wall so that your back is flat and parallel to the ground. Now lift the chair and try to stand up. The results of this one may vary based on gender. The center of mass for boys is higher than the center of mass for girls. When a boy is bent over, his center of mass is actually over the chair and his balancing against the wall. When he tries to stand up, he'll fall most of the time. The girl's center of mass, however, is lower closer to the hips. When she is bent over, her center of mass is still over her feet, so she can most of the time stand up. This next challenge is the quarter grab, and here's how you do this one. Start this one by standing with your feet against the wall. Now place a quarter on the floor at the tips of your feet. With your back and the back of your feet against the wall, bend over and try to pick up the quarter. Now the old derriere is the culprit for making this challenge a little bit difficult. When people bend over, their rear ends extend to balance them, which keeps their center of mass over their feet. Against the wall, an individual's rear end cannot counterbalance them. Now my final challenge to you is the leg raise. Here's how you do this one. Simply stand sideways against the wall, with one shoulder against the wall, with the same side leg against the wall as well. Now, simply try to raise the opposite leg without holding on to anything. Look. This is nearly impossible for the same reason as before. Your body simply can't counterbalance the weight distribution. Now I dare you to try some of these on your own or with friends or family. Remember to post pictures or videos to social media such as Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and be sure to use the hashtag Sign the Fly. I can't wait to see your results. It's been Mr. J with Sign the Fly, the place where science makes sense.